two pulleys, one of diameter 150 millimeters and the other 200 millimeters, are on parallel shafts with centers 600 millimeters apart. What is the angle of contact between a flat belt and each pulley? What power can be transmitted when the larger pulley rotates at 300 revs per minute if the maximum tension in the belt is 1 kN and the coefficient of friction between belt and pulley is 0.25? Because the first thing we're going to do is, is draw it out. So we're told one of the pulleys has a diameter of 150 and the other is 200. So that means the radius is 75 and the radius here is 100. And the centers from here to here are uh, 600 millimeters apart. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is, um, if this is radius of 75 um, millimeters, I'm going to draw a line parallel to the belt here. So this line is parallel to this belt. So it's all the way up. So if that distance is 75, then that distance is 75. How do I know that? Well, the belt is tangential to the, to the pulley. And the angle between a tangent and the radius is 90 degrees. So this angle here is, is 90 degrees. So if that's 75, that distance here, then this distance here must be 25. Why? 25 or 75 is equal to the 100 radius. Okay, now I have a right angle triangle where I have the opposite and I have the hypotenuse here. And I can say then that the sine of phi, so this is phi here, this angle here, phi sine of phi is opposite over hypotenuse, so phi works out to be 2.39 degrees. Grant. If that's 2.39 degrees, then that must be 87.61 degrees. Okay, um, so if I take this angle here, right, so uh, draw this straight up. Okay, so that's a straight line, believe it or not, and that's a straight line. And this angle here, that's also equal to phi. So I don't know, if you, if you can imagine taking this line and swinging it around there, then that line there will go, will go out here. So that is uh, 2.39 degrees. And I want to find uh, this angle here, the, the lap angle. Well, from here to there, this straight line here, which is not so straight, that's 180 degrees. So our lap angle is going to be 180 degrees minus 2 times 2.39. So 2.239 here and the 2.239, sorry, 2.39 uh, in here as well. So the lap angle, uh, t to 2, so it's 180 degrees minus 2 times 2.39. That works out to be 175.22 degrees. And when I convert that to radians, it's 3.06. So it's, a, it's important that the angle is in, in radians. Similarly for uh, theta 1, it's, uh, here's the straight line. Okay, from there to there. So all in here, that's all 180 degrees. So I have to add on this bit and this bit, which is also 2.39. So it's 180 degrees plus 2 times 2.39, and that works out to be 184.78 degrees, or 3.23 radians. Now we're told that the larger pulley rotates at 300 RPM. So I can take that information and get the velocity here as it goes around. So what's the velocity there? Well, V is equal to omega r. Omega, well, it's 300 revs per minute. So divided by 60 is revs per second. Multiplied by 2 pi brings it to radians. So that's that many radians per second multiplied by the radius. And this is uh, 100 millimeters, which is 0.1 of a meter, which is 
3.14 meters per second. Okay, so that's what I have uh, so far. Right, we have two equations that we use for uh, belt drives. Uh, one is the relationship between T1 and T2, and the other is the power, uh, power equation. So if I take uh, this one first, I can rearrange it um, to get a value for T2. And we were told that the maximum tension that the belt could have was 1 kilonewton. So I'm going to put in 1,000 for that. We were given the coefficient of friction, so that was 0.25, and we worked out that the lap angle, and we always use the small one, okay, so this is always the small lap angle, is 3.06. Why is it always the smallest? Because that's where the belt is going to slip. So when I do that calculation, you get 465. I'm going to put 465 in here for T2, and I put 1,000 in here for T1. And I have my omega r from down here, and I put those values in, I can work out what the maximum power that this um, pulley can transmit. So, and that's what we were asked to do. All right.